everybody welcome to online class in today's class we'll discuss regarding the five ways analysis uh, which is one of the problem solving tool which is very simple but it is very effective so uh, you can say it is used to understand the root cause of the problem five ways analysis is subjective in its approach it release on the group or uh, group of persons engaged in the analyzing the problem so it depends on how this group decides about the reasons for the current problem it also depends on technical experts representing in the group to go deep into the root cause and know the impact so this suggests to put what why questions to the problem after getting the answer again put the question again and again until the real root reason is understood it is like a child asking why for everything okay a child will be asking every time why question it sees and observes so it keeps quiet only its satisfactory answer is got it may seem annoying but really takes to the root cause of a problem so it does not feel nervous or defeated at any time during questioning it repeats and repeats so that is the five way problem analysis tool now this technique does not mean that asking question only five times you ask why as many times as you need to in order to get the real cause of a problem okay then will understand this five way tool can be used as simply as the many examples the above example which i have given of a child okay uh, then what steps it includes that will understand okay uh, that is when you have to identify a problem focuses on the problem statement that is what is going wrong when did it when did it happen and then work backwards asking why every time so focus on getting to the root cause which is normally a process issue next comes is in experienced facilitators and groups often find that their answers or root causes often point towards generic statements and reasons that are out of their control like operator error not enough time not enough labor okay so 9 times out of 10 the root cause is a process issue so focus on finding a root cause that uh, embodies a problem with a process or even that a process doesn't exist in the first place remember when conducting the five way exercise keep in mind that a bad process will beat good people every time so focus on the process issues not people it sometimes helps to ask why does this process fail after every question to keep on track okay so we'll understand this five way analysis with the help of the example see examples shows that there is no real system in place to replace the batteries once the root cause has been highlighted the team or individual can then go about rectifying the problem and remove it for good so imagine that you are a business improvement leader in a large company there is an instance where lots of scrap is reported from the previous day's production on one machine so you find that the op operator pushed the emergency stop button by mistake during working now you ask why the answer you got from a senior or manager may be operator error again ask why is it an operator error because it happens now and again he may answer you are not satisfied with this answer so you may then say that i do not accept the answer how can we error proof the process so the operator doesn't get blamed and also we don't make the same mistake again so you ask again why did he hit the emergency stop so another manager was getting embarrassed and then said let's have a look on shop floor after going to the source you may find that the start and stop buttons on the machine in question are both dirty to the point that they are distinguishing colors of red for stop and green for go so these were not displayed clearly they were both black 
so more so the buttons were so close together that it was so easy for the operators to push the wrong button by mistake so in essence after a long debate and pain you get a more legitimate reason that is more approximate reason there is excessive scrap on the process line why the operator pushed the stop button instead of the start button by mistake during the run again the question is why because the buttons on the control panel are unclear and dirty and the stop button is right next to the start button making it easy to hit the wrong button okay now what can be done now we are came up with the problem we understood the root cause of the problem now we'll find out the solution for such problem see clean the area and control the panels set the new 5s standard and move the emergency stop button to the side of the machine away from the start button by asking why you went from the problem being an operator issue to the fact that there was no 5s housekeeping two actions were resulted one clean and organize the area that is setting acceptable standards for the machine also keeping the buttons clean and clear from dirt and move the stop button to the side of the machine and away from the, from the start button to prevent what pushing the wrong button by mistakes so this is how the five way analysis works it is very simple see it is very simple to ask why question again and again okay there is a no rule that you should ask the why question only five times you can ask it n number of times until you get a root cause as it is a simple but it is very effective because you will be coming up with the root cause that is the main reason for the problem and you will be coming up with the approximate solution for such problems so the next tool will discuss in the next class thank you